All right, let's check our crankshaft journal for taper. Now, when we look at taper, what we're actually looking for is, is it possible or has where occurred that the crankshaft journal, the connecting rod journal, is narrower on this side than it is on this side or narrower vertically here than it is here. So all I've done is simply picked a vertical axis here and a horizontal axis here. And what we're gonna check is for taper and then we're also gonna use those same measurements to check for out of round to see if the crankshaft journal has actually ovaled at all. And so we're gonna do that by tracking our information. So I just drew a really rough drawing of our connecting rod journal. I drew an a, a vertical line saying A1, A2, and B1, B2. And so all we're gonna do is record those right up here. A1's measurement, A2. We're gonna compare those two by subtracting them to see if we're gonna get a taper. Same with B1, B2 to get a taper. Then we're gonna compare A1 to B1 and A2 to B2 to get any out of round measurement. So to do that, this one needs a three to four framed micrometer, outside micrometer. I've already zeroed it to make sure that it's calibrated correctly. And so what we're gonna do is open it up. We're going to make sure it slips over top the widest spot of the journal and we want to feel a slight drag as we do that. If we get that right and we read this micrometer, when we're gonna read it, we're gonna see it's a three to four micrometer. So I was checking B2 actually is where I checked. So we're gonna use a three to four micrometer. So that means for B2, I'm gonna start with my first number being three point something, okay? Then I'm gonna look on my index line and I'm gonna see point one, two, three, four, five, six, and it almost, yeah, looks like we're at seven. Now, we're gonna to have to really check this, but as we do this, you see we go past the zero to the one, so yeah, we are over top, so we're actually 3.5. 7 is the number we've got to record. And then we would look, how many index lines? Well, none. We're not past the first small index line past the 7, but we do have a thimble measurement of 1. So that means we would see that my journal at the B2 position is actually going to be 3.701. So I'm going to do the same measurement at B1. So I'm going to drop this over B1. Remember, I just created the numbers B1 and B2. I just chose them on my own. They're not written or stamped on there anywhere. You just make them. Find the widest part of the journal. You got to feel for the same amount of drag in both the spaces. And then when we do that, we're going to take our measurement. And I'm going to, again, see three for the frame size. Point, one, two, three, four, five, six, and Yep, past that last index line, so I'm at 7, so 3.7, and again, my thimble measurement is 1, so that means 0, 1. To actually calculate our taper then, we would take this B1 measurement that I've got for 3.701, subtract it from 3.701, and what we get then is a taper of 0, 0.000, which means that I have no taper at all, and that journal is perfectly straight. We're gonna do the same thing for A1 and A2 now. So I'm gonna do these vertically for A1 and A2. You're gonna see the same thing. So find the widest spot, have a little bit of drag as we pull it through. And again, we're going to measure the same thing. We're gonna see three is my frame size, point one, two, three, four, five, six, just at the edge of seven. And then I've got a thimble measurement of one. So once again, my measurement is 3.701 inches. The next one we're going to do is A2. Come over to A2. Now you can do this in Imperial or in metric. It doesn't matter. You're just using your micrometer the same way. It's really not about the micrometer here as it is. How do I take the measurements? So I chose the, the horizontal, I chose the vertical, and I'm going to compare them. So once again, frame size of three to four, so three point all the way to the seven, three point seven, a thimble of one, three point seven zero one. Okay, so then I need to compare once again my A measurements. A1 minus A2 gives me a taper of zero point 
zero, zero, zero inches. So that means I have no taper on both the vertical and the horizontal measurement. That's excellent. Then what I also want to do is I want to compare them on A1 to B1. So insert the numbers 3.701, 3.701, and I think we can all do this in our head pretty quickly. But what I want to show you is where we got the numbers again. A1 that we measured up here got to go down there. A2 gets to go, sorry, right here. B1 gets to go over here, and B2 gets to go right here. The long and the short here is that when we compare those two numbers by subtracting them to each other, 3.701 minus 3.701 leaves us with an out of round of zero. The same thing is true for A2 and B2, an out of round of zero. What that tells us is that this connecting rod journal is both perfectly round still, as well as perfectly parallel or there is zero taper. So that means this would be in excellent condition. Now the rest of this crankshaft has its own issues. You can sort of see them on the edge here, this discoloration. But this journal in particular, this connecting rod journal, would be perfectly reusable.